Today, I'm looking up trees in the Florida Keys to find a gecko that's learned to call the Sunshine State home. Florida's weather is perfect. We get visitors from all around the world to our sunny shores, and many decide to never leave. I'm not just talking about humans, either. We've got the right climate for all sorts of introduced and invasive species, especially reptiles. I've done previous videos on Wild FL of veiled chameleons and brown anoles. I grew up catching all kinds of invasive lizards, but there's one kind of introduced lizard here that I've never caught. One that I've been hoping to find my entire life. The Madagascar Giant Day Gecko. So today I'm in the lower Florida Keys, following up on a tip where I just might be able to find these incredibly charismatic geckos. And if this gecko looks a little familiar, it's because you probably saw it on TV trying to sell you car insurance. Unfortunately for me, I'm just not having any luck finding them on my own. So I called in some help from the wildest woman I know, Christina Wilson. If you're a fan of other wildlife YouTube channels, you might recognize Christina as the newest host on Brave Wilderness, where she hangs out with Coyote Peterson, survives on deserted islands, and trains to become a mermaid. But Christina is also a fellow biologist who happens to know the Florida Keys better than most. She's agreed to help me look for the giant day geckos and teach me a thing or two about the unique ecosystems in the Florida Keys. We're starting off our hunt in a nearby mangrove, which I've explored in another episode before. But just a few hundred feet away, we hike into a hardwood hammock. This type of ecosystem reminds me of the tropical forests of South and Central America. Florida and the Florida Keys aren't technically within the tropical zones, but the Keys are so close, it's no wonder that it feels like I'm in a jungle. As we continue our exploration into the hammock, Christina teaches me about all of the cool plants we see along the way. When all of a sudden, I spot a day gecko. Bigger than, than this. Did you see it? Let's rewind. You know? There! It's our giant day gecko! Than, than this. Don't, don't move. There's a gecko right here. Oh, oh. my god, it's huge. Wow, there you go. Look at the size of that gecko. This is it. The gecko is in the perfect spot. Is he moving? Is he I position moment? myself on the opposite side of the tree from the gecko and make my move. <laughs> Down here. Oh, there you go. There you go. You I got, got it. it. Wow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow, I can't believe that. Wow, there's so, he's so big. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. I'm so excited to meet you. Oh, he's croaking just a little bit. You want to croak for the camera? Look at how beautiful this day gecko is. We'll turn him around so that way we can get a nice good look at the camera. And you can see how big he is compared to my finger right here. So Florida only has one native gecko species and this is not it, but this looks exactly like the kind of animal you would find here in Florida. But this is a huge day gecko. I'm shaking a little bit. I'm so yeah, excited yeah, yeah, about time, this. Hi there. You are gorgeous. One thing I really love about geckos are their feet. So their toes are really interesting. On the underside of their toes are these like little ridges, but that is how geckos climb. There's lots of little teeny tiny microscopic hairs all throughout their toes, and that creates a ton of surface area, and their toes act like Velcro on the surface of whatever surface they're on, particularly on these trees where there's a lot of bark for them to be climbing. So their toes are kind of like Velcro that they stick to, and I can even feel it on my fingers. There's a certain stickiness to it, but it's not like mucus or anything. It's just because their toes have so much surface area inside of them and we see these beautiful spots so in their habitats in Madagascar where they live this is really great for whenever they're on the side of a mossy tree they'll blend into it really well but this one was just on some gray bark here in, in the Florida Keys and it stuck out really well but he wasn't moving the whole time that we saw him I am so excited I'm so stoked that we found this gecko you are so beautiful Ooh, look at this so around this time of the day, they are going to be hanging out about halfway in the tree. And as the day goes on, the sun moves, they go higher and higher and higher up into the canopy of these thatch palms. And then that's where they rest at night. So a lot of people sadly come out here to poach them 
which which is which is sad. I don't think any animal should should be a pet. Period. I think all animals should be wild. It's it's sad that these guys are out here because of the pet trade. So that's pretty wild to see, but they are a ferocious little creature, very territorial, but wow, absolutely beautiful. Those incredible feet. And I wish the GoPro could pick up how wild their feet are. That is one magnificent green specimen. Well, you think it's time to uh, put him back? Yeah. So, I'm Zach Cole. I'm Christina Wilson. And thanks for checking out what makes Florida so wild. Ready to put this guy back? Let's put him back. All right. There you go, little guy. You ready? All right, come on. There you go. I want to give a huge thanks to Christina Wilson for helping me find this gecko. She'll be joining me for other Wild FL episodes in the future, and I'm really excited about it. Let me know down in the comments what you'd like for Christina to help me find next. There's a link to Christina's Instagram and some of her work with Brave Wilderness in the description below, so go check her out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like and share this video too. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure.